Hello everyone, welcome to our new podcast series. So here, me and my wife, Julia. Here, so we going to talk about here the things about uh, in our life related to us and how we experience those things. So we are here to share. So I hope uh, you guys. It's actually something new for us, uh, but we are excited to make this type of uh, podcast because first we can communicate with you guys, and second is uh, we can explain something more than we can show in our daily vlogs uh, format for YouTube channel. But let's see if it will be useful and good, and you will be interesting in this. So we will continue to do something like that. So what can be our first topic? What do you think? Mm, actually, on what we can talk. <laughs> I'm boring. Okay. No need to worry. It's a home podcast. <laughs> Take your cha, <laughs> masala cha. Should I Some... give you chai? No, we don't. It's finished. Okay. Yeah. Biscuits, and let's talk. Let's talk. Yeah. And uh, today. The first topic what I would recommend you to talk, to discuss, is uh, Japan trip, maybe. How do you think about it? Yeah. So, we can talk about Japan trip because that's the most recent travel we had done together. F and first time we had done, uh, like, uh, international travel, travel, except then... Except India. <laughs> except the home country, India, because we traveled three or four times after marriage. So yeah. this time we wanted to share like uh, what exactly uh, as a foreign couple, like she is from different country, I'm from different. So our experience and how we can relate because we already living in a third country. So yeah. like she is from Russia, I'm from India and we are living in China and we are going to Japan and our mindset was like totally different. So first uh, let's think like Whenever it came to Japan on our mind, so we think about like different things first, right? So in our mind it came like we're gonna travel, it should be more calm, better than China, or better than any other country as, as we saw it on Instagram. Like there are so many reels, so as you know like word of mouth, whenever you speak something, all the reels come to uh, on your phone related to that topic always. So when we wanted to go Japan that time, so on our Instagram, all videos are from Japan. You have to go visit these places, 10 things about Japan, 10 things about Tokyo, like so many different kind of stuff. So when we started to do this journey about Japan, so the first media of to like explore things, it was Instagram. The like second was YouTube to just to know like some guides and everything like from where we can go, what will be our major cities because we just have, uh, I just have 14 days of visa. You also, right? Of course. Yeah. First visa which you'll get, it will be maximum 10 or 14 days for Japan. So a next visas can be multiply visa for you. But the first uh, tourist visa is always for maximum two weeks. Yeah, so we just have 14 days of visa and we applied it from China, Shanghai. Uh, yeah, let's talk about how we actually found the Japanese visa center and what oh. documents we prepared for. Mm. Um, can I start? Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, from the beginning, uh, what happened? Uh, Uday asked from his uh, office people, of his friends, uh, how can we apply for Japan? Because uh, there is not so much information about it, especially for foreigners who want to apply from China, especially from Shanghai. So we were searching to some uh, in some social medias and uh, our WeChat, and we didn't find anything. Everybody was telling to us you have to apply from the agent, but guys. We every time thinking, why should we apply from the agent if there is another way that you just can collect your own documents which require for the visa and then go to the visa center and apply for yourself? Because first, uh, you will, yes, you will waste some time for to collect all the things, but it will be more cheaper if you will spend your 30 or uh, 
25,000 rupees. I'm just approximately saying in rupees, not in yuan RMB. So we'll give to somebody and uh, they will do it and you don't know for how long they will do it, right? Sure. So what they ask, they say to us, they told us like uh, apply from the agent. Actually, we, as I remember, we tried to add that uh, agents on our WeChat, but they didn't add us. Yeah, Some of them were... Just wait a minute. So they are like on the website when you go and they are like hundreds ah, of agents. So yeah. I tried to add them on my WeChat as WeChat is here like very common social media, uh, you can say networking uh, application where you can use and find people. So yeah. I try to grab some groups and I check some other things also, check with my friends and office people. And uh, they say like try it from agent because no one is doing it. And it's very common here like you can find anything on the application and those people are gonna help you with the money. And the money is not like that much genuine to me because as an Indian, as you know, like uh, you have to like check the genuine, you need to check the authentication for that particular thing. I check like in India, it's only 500 rupees per visa. Really? Yeah. Wow. I don't know if it's free now, but uh, before it was just like more than 500, could be 1000 only. But not that, like, here in China, it's like, I was not expecting, like, they're gonna take around 50 or 60 RMB. Mm. But I was thinking, like, at least they can take, like, 250 or 500 RMB, the maximum. But when I asked the agent, they said, like, 3,000 per person. That yeah. is around 38,000 to near about 40,000 40, rupees for one person. So, I think, like, it's total uh, traveling agents what they ever charge for everything so i check with my wife julia like how we can do the things there so she said let's do by ourselves so when i check all the list and everything it was like we already have all the documents so we just go there apply and after i think 10 days we got the visas no one week, seven, five, six, uh, for us it took six working days, maybe even five, because uh, we bought tickets first and then we apply for visa and we ask them to do it fast if it is possible because we have on this time flights. So they were saying if, if everything will be possible, so next week on this day you will get your visa. True. So that was the thing about visas. Then after... We didn't know first, like, even when we were applying for visa, like, which cities we need to go. Tokyo was there yeah. for sure. Yeah. And another city like uh, Fuji, we didn't know where it is. Mount Fuji, we're talking about Mount Fuji now. Like, we didn't know, like, where it is. And we search and explore. We make a list of the cities on these days where we can go. Because if you see on a map, Japan is so tiny. But in reality, if you wanted to explore, it's it's so many things there. Yeah, there is so many things. In one Tokyo, I don't think we even uh, finished to explore Tokyo because it's that much huge city. And there is so many streets, so many buildings and uh, some other cultural things where you can go and check by yourself, but you don't have enough time. But what I know as a girl, uh, usually girls are going to Japan because of some beauty, uh, beauty things like for makeup, body care and mm -hmm. something like yeah. that. And you know, boys go for different things. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's the common thing here. Maybe we're gonna discuss it later. It's it's all Asia, Asian countries have this kind of thing like massage and other other things like uh, as uh, you know, head so, spa. Mm, yeah, head spa. Where we did. I I was now talking about something wrong. Yeah, head yeah. spa. I was like talking about. Yeah. So. After visa, we just find out like uh, they are the three most popular cities that we have to go. First is Tokyo for sure. And then is uh, Fuji. Yeah, we Mount went to Fuji. Mount Fuji. And then as you see in, in our vlogs, like there we covered a... these main cities. And the third one was Kyoto. Kyoto, yeah. Uh, yeah. I actually wanted to go to one more city where is... Um... The Deers, right? Deers. Mm. Osaka. Osaka, yeah, but uh, it's, it is actually was uh, like almost near to Kyoto, 
but we didn't go there because we didn't have enough much time so mm -hmm. okay yeah so guys we 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 gonna start about uh, the first city tokyo we landed tokyo now in the morning at 5 a.m. we landed and when we see in, in the morning like when when you like just about to land you're gonna see whole Japan to be very honest I, I see Mount Fuji I see different volcanoes also like small smaller <laughs> than Mount Fuji actually when we were on the plane and we were crossing to some Japan areas and uh, they saw actually there were so many mountains like really so many mountains and for every mountain shano uday were saying this is mount fuji this is fuji no that one is fuji <laughs> so <laughs> he, he was saying like this about every mountain but so i'm not sure that he exactly saw mount fuji oh uh, you never know maybe i was right because I didn't see any other volcano. Maybe it's shaped like a volcano, but it's not exactly as Mount Fuji. But okay. yeah, when uh, yeah, so we landed to Tokyo. We came outside from the plane, and then then we just going to grab our baggage and everything. Every everything was smooth. Immigration was totally smooth. Oh. It's the like fastest immigration I ever had. It was some something unbelievable actually for me because uh, because when you are coming to immigration control and you see oh it's not people checking you as I remember it is there is some machines you just need to do something by yourself print your fingers and something like that and uh, it's that much fast and like quick that. Uh, you even cannot imagine that uh, this is like can be in other countries because uh, it was for me something like unbelievable that you don't need to do something extra you don't need to wait your lines there is so many machines and there is like few people standing and they were they are so cute and kind actually and they're telling you where to go what to do and it was like wow and uh, one more thing what shocked me about japan uh, because I'm com uh, for now we I we not comparing China and Japan and actually you cannot compare any country with each other but uh, here in China uh, in uh, airports working actually almost every year in any company usually here is only Chinese people working but in Japan if you will land Japan you will see that uh, in airports not only Japanese people working, there are so many international people and that is why I was like a little bit shocked to see this. Yeah, for me it's also first time. I see few Indians, few like different people yeah. uh, like working there. For me it's like for the first time I see like even on the international airports you can have the jobs of immigration. So that was great. And I can see like so many tourists came from different part of uh, the world and uh, even japan can give you citizenship after like uh, after some years few years and if you're working there I, and and if you invest there so there are like so many programs so now the thing is like we are going out of the airport and then we just grab our bags and then we were like confused like what to do now and how to go because we didn't know like if if the uber is working here and the things because there are so many videos so many videos here on internet like you can do this these this things you can go here you can go to this pillar then have a what what it called the bullet train the fast train you can have it the line numbers the color of the lines they never mention anything specific they just say like you have to go from the airport outside and you will get the uh, wherever you want to go just have the train and uh, for for like specific things if you know your village or the city or the town where you wanted to go if it's near then it's okay but if it's far then it's a problem to change for the first day because other days you're gonna know like the technique the system which uh, part of the 
CD you wanted to go and it's it's not like same as other countries uh, like I can relate to India and China like um, you can go by the color of the train like it can go on these stations but uh, in Japan it was totally different right yeah yeah, yeah. so but it was like uh, after some time maybe two three hours later we got to know like how the system work so for us it was easy and for for you guys also it's gonna be easy because it's not so much like a rocket science uh just what i want to say is uh if you ever travel by metro uh i i know that in new delhi there is uh, also subway like metro subway right and uh, if you travel there i don't think you will be confused for the first time maybe yes uh because japan system uh, uh subway subway system i think is a little bit um, how to say complex? complex it's not complex i don't find it complex no not complex it's for the first time when you're coming to japan subway you see that there is so many lines and you're confused especially from uh, that machine uh if you didn't buy the card uh, that uh subway card you need to buy tickets every time and that is confused so when we came for the first time there were so many buttons and there was like so many kind of menu options in that small machine and we didn't know where to click how to click and we are of course we were not alone about that so what you can do is uh first of all you can ask uh, help from the guy who works there they're always sitting there like uh, on their uh, Chotu office small office <laughs> small yeah. office yes and uh, they are always as i understand like in all our trips every time we're helping to us and they were talking english even if they're not talking english anyway they will understand what you what you want and uh, so they exp they actually told us what to do where to click and after that i think we were like that much professional so that in Kyoto we were we were so easily going actually it was like wow yeah and for me like uh, it was so easy no I don't want to discuss about it so like uh, <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. It, it is actually a difficult topic yeah no it's okay so after some time we went to our hotel we check out no sorry we check, check in. in we check, check out. We, no check out means look out oh. look out oh one more thing what i want to say is um if you buying tickets from oh not ticket if you are booking your hotel on booking we book it from booking right yeah yeah so uh if there is an option to check in early use it because our flight was at 5 36 a.m we landed in japan and at 8 7 38 we already came to our hotel and uh, actually we were waiting till 12 we needed to wait or 1 p.m i don't remember so and they are like i know in india if rooms are free so you can check in early but in japan it's not possible they let you check in after two after two right yeah after two yeah and we were so much tired thankfully there was breakfast time so we eat breakfast yeah. and then we went for a walk in a long like even where... in your in our first vlog you can see the time we walking in the morning and uh, there is there no, is no one and that that time we just use then they said like yeah. if you really wanted to check in early then you have, you have to, to give uh, the full fees for the previous day so what we did is like we uh, pay yeah we pay and then we early ten, check in ten thousand yen yeah it's it depends on the hotels yeah. if you uh, if you are in the good hotels they're gonna charge you that way if you in the budget hotels maybe they will not charge or they will say you like uh, yeah. come at this time but everything is individual so with us this happened with you maybe different going to be so, so right yeah overall yeah. there was like then we explore actually good thing happened in the morning like 
we saw how the country oh. works, how they came, how the people going to work, how people like treating to each other. We see the shops when it was closed. We saw like when it opened, right? We saw many things how the people work in Lawson, Family Mart. <laughs> Actually, it was my small trip to go to Seven Eleven because. As they said, there was an Instagram, YouTube, there was like so many videos about Japan, how people going and especially trying that smoothie. Uh, what it is, you going to 7-Eleven, 7-Eleven, yes, uh, taking, there is a cup with um, Fruit. fruits, frozen fruits, mix of it. And then you just need to pay for this and go to, there is some special machine which makes smoothie. And I was so amazed to try this. So I tried and uh, nothing specifically, like nor normal vegetable smoothie. Yeah, but it's good. And I don't remember how much it cost, but it doesn't matter. Mwah! It was like Japanese traditional small restaurant where you sitting and there was like a bar, like a bar table and they doing for you sushi sushi and it was like ah and sashimi was really tasty actually. The quality of food in Japan is different, seriously. Yeah, so it was like on the different level of the things. Yeah. So in Japan, where did we go in Japan? In Japan, we went to Shiba Inu crossing road. Sh Shibuya. Shibu oh, sorry. Why am I saying Shibuya? First, we ah, went to Shibuya Dora. crossing road. Then we went to Asakusa sumo wrestling. That part is like very beautiful. Yeah, there is a temple. There is a shrine, Tokyo shrine. You can go there. You can yes. check the Tokyo Tower. Yeah, we also went there. And uh, so many other things like in Tokyo you can yeah, go. As, as I you know, can check our vlog to see it more. Yes, but unfortunately we were so much excited that we didn't record so many things, so many places where did we go. In Japan, in Tokyo especially, there is so many activities what you can do. Seriously, you have money? Do it. But we were a little bit in budget because uh, we are not that much active tourists. We just want to explore, see the nature and something like that. We are like calm yeah, we, tourists. Our, our main focus is to near to the more to the nature. Yeah. Because uh, as we both belong to different cultures, different cultures and things. And we want it to be in the same level. So what we expecting is to like, we already living in a city. Mm -hmm. I think is the most advanced city we are living in currently right now. So our motive is to, our mo main motive is to like... Uh, Moti. He wanted to say me motto. No. <laughs> <laughs> so our main motive was to uh, concentrate and have balance or we want our life to be on the same page. So that's why we was like focusing on more nature towards. Yeah, because our lifestyle is like 50-50. 50% of uh, turban areas. Can I say turban? Urban. Urban areas. Urban. Urban areas. And 50% is nature. Whereas you just can peacefully relax and uh, forget about anything. Just calm down, baby. Yeah. So we just wanted to aside our life from the city hustle bustle. Yeah. So we just wanted to be meditating by traveling. So that's why in our most of the vlogs, you're not going to see us talking. <laughs> yeah, we just actually. walking. We not speaking with each other. Even most of the vlogs are like empty. Most of the friends are like, why guys, you don't speak. I say, okay, for this, we're going to shoot a specific podcast where you're going to listen everything from us. There will be no other videos from the Japan. Then you can see here so that's why we make this first yeah podcast. and plus is when you are for the first time going to some other country right where you have never been and then you inside you there is so many emotions feelings excitements and you just like looking everywhere and you don't know what to say you don't know what is exactly your opinion about this location place people culture right so you just observing you can say about everything what is going on around you and um, 
So that's why we were didn't talk. We even didn't talk to each other actually, because we because we were walking, we were doing, we were like mm, collecting all these feelings, and now we are sharing it with you in our podcast. We so long time we were keeping it in our hearts, in our minds, and now we just sharing with you our feelings. Yeah, it's more than I think two months now that. Uh, no. Three months. We went in May. June, July, August, September, October, five months. So it's actually hard for <laughs> recollecting all the memories again. Yeah. But uh, the most beautiful memories are always inside us. So that's why we are sharing it with you. Yeah. So if we left with something else, so you're going to check our all three and four vlogs, which we have shared, maybe five. Where we are not talking. Yeah. So yeah, guys, so guys, you please don't think that we are not talkable guys we are very boring no we just uh, want you to feel the nature yes so if it is relating to our just daily vlogs daily routine what we are doing where we're going obviously we're going to speak but the things maybe you just want to see just to see it also by like by our views what we have show like right on the mm, videos i don't want to compare with any anyone and anything the thing is this is how we wanted to show you so we don't know, maybe we're going to build a new community who just wanted to watch. Because there are so many influencers who speak, speak, speak and showing less. Maybe they have their own community. But our motive was just to make about video about everything. Actually, we make it for ourselves. We never focus on views or followers. But if someone connect to us, we welcome them. Yeah. And the second thing is... Uh, the second thing is like we just making videos for to record our moments it to just, make um, it even if we watch uh, like after 50 years so we got to know and and it's budget friendly you don't need to buy a special storage so <laughs> better to upload it on youtube and yeah uh, and it will and be we, we we are the people who wanted to share it yeah. so if you really wanted to know about our next destination Mount Fuji and Kyoto check out our next podcast so we're gonna continue after it yeah. so so today this was our podcast so I hope you like next it next time let's talk about Fuji because there is actually a lot of things what we would like to share with you because nobody tell us about this and there was as you know there was no videos who were sharing the information actually about that area so we were talking we will talk about mount fuji and kyoto kyoto is a fat talk yeah, if you kyoto. can say so thank you everyone for watching this if you like it subscribe and uh, and please uh, share let it with us your friends if you really want to do something so and uh, if you have any questions about maybe uh, Japan which you are interesting and if we know the answer for your questions so we will talk about it yeah. on in our next podcast yeah even if you wanted to know about India Russia China if you wanted to buy something from China if you wanted to go India where you can visit or something just message us will help you the most affordable luxury and without any scammers we know the hacks so just let us know yeah he's living in china more than six years so no eight years now oh my eight years eight years yeah okay guys one more time thank you so much and uh below please write your comments write your questions if you have about maybe tokyo or about maybe documents anything for vida yeah and if we know the answer, for sure, we will answer to you in our next podcast. So, yeah. thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye. Kadak. -bye.